I am backing up a video I shot yesterday. It was a music video. It was a nine hour shoot, or about nine hours. We were up at like 8.30 and we ended around 5, 6. It was a super amazing music video with an artist called Ania here in Paris. We're gonna be working on this for the next few weeks and I'm actually really excited to edit it. Rarely am I actually excited to edit a client video, just rarely. And yes, I do need a haircut. <laughs> I've decided for 2021, I want to make my videos more vlog style. I posted a video a few weeks ago or a week ago or something, whatever, talking about how I'm in a weird area where I want to post videos that you guys want to watch and I also want to post videos that I want to watch. So I've decided I'm going to post both. So basically, I want to teach you guys the same things that I do teach you, but in a more fun, friendly vlog style way, which is less boring for both of us, I think. I think I've been caught up in trying to be consistent when making YouTube videos, and I haven't really just enjoyed the process. So now I'm just gonna enjoy the process more. And in the way I'm gonna do that is basically just make my videos more vlog style as I teach you the stuff. Instead of sitting down at my desk with, you know, set lighting and weird neon colors in the background, even though I really like it. I'm starting to really like the color pink. I do want to organize my shelf a little bit. I have stuff kind of all over the place and I want to organize this so that I have a bit of a, you know, a gear shelf. Watching popular YouTubers, it's always been something that I've wanted to like have a shelf with like all my camera gear, like super nice and spiffy and organized. So we're going to try to do that today. Wow. I talk about EDC. EDC is everyday carry. It's the stuff that you pretty much always have on you. Now, obviously it can change based on why you're going out, especially now because we're not really going out that much. But yeah, these are the things that you always want to have with you, or these are the things that I always have with me. Whether it's annoying or not, I don't care. I'm going to spread them throughout the whole video. So you have to watch the whole thing to figure out what my EDC is. First thing, probably the most obvious thing, that's your iPhone. Your phone, it doesn't have to be an iPhone. I switched to iPhone three years ago or so and I like it but there are some things I do miss about Android but anyways yeah first thing is my iPhone I have the iPhone 12 now I used to I used to use the iPhone 8 plus it's a really great phone and I miss the fingerprint sensor because obviously with the mask I can't unlock my phone uh, when I'm out in the public so I always have to put in my password and that's kind of frustrating but I do really like this camera I really like the ultra wide I've been wanting it for quite a while the iPhone 12's ultra wide is amazing I didn't go for the 12 Pro because I don't really take many telephoto pictures and the a little bit more RAM and all that stuff wasn't a huge deal for me I didn't go for the 12 Pro Max because that thing is a brick and I don't really like a huge phone I was about to go for the mini but I just realized you know I just kind of want that extra battery life granted the mini still had more battery life than the 8 plus so whatever I just wanted a better battery life phone with pretty much the same exact cameras throughout all the 12s actually the ultra wide camera on this is exactly the same as the one on the 12 Pro Max so now I think this top shelf looks fine-ish. I have this poor alarm clock thing that my girlfriend gave me for Christmas. Canon 800D, Canon 24-70, a kit lens, and the hood for this lens right here. I, I realized on a shoot the other day that having a hood with you in Paris is absolutely mandatory because it starts to rain and it's super frustrating and if you don't have a hood, then all your shots will be good. Down here, I have random stuff. Now, I don't really know what I wanna put there, so I should kind of, I don't know, I, I think I need to figure this out. I, I will figure this out. I wanna try auto ISO for once. Why am I working so hard? Aha, there we go, auto ISO. So now I should always be perfectly exposed. So on here, I kinda, I don't know, I think I should put like chargers and batteries and SD card stuff, so yeah, let's do that. This is already gonna be a, an annoying process, I already know, so I don't even know if I wanna continue this, but I will. Okay, so it looks a little better. I have uh, the some batteries and chargers and SD card case placed out. I do have a DJI um, Mavic Air controller there just because it looks good. I never really asked you guys, do you guys prefer when my YouTube videos are darker? Uh, like when I have all the lights off and I just have like one key light that's kind of dramatic and my shutters are closed and it's like neon lights in the background and dark. Or do you prefer it like this where I have daylight and a few daylight bulbs blasting in all over my room so that I have light everywhere? I didn't really ask you guys, so what do you think? I honestly don't care. 
I kind of like this because it's easier to do and I have sun every day. But then when I think about it, the nighttime one is easier as well because I don't have to worry about changes in light outside. So anyways. Okay, so the second thing on my everyday carry list are my AirPods. Now I always leave these on my wireless charger here. So uh, they're always pretty much fully charged. And then, yeah, okay, so it's not charged. But anyways, I just put them on there. So I always leave them here. And whenever I want to go out, I just, you know, pick them up put them in my pocket, and I'm ready to go. It's really cool just to leave them on the portable charger so you don't have to worry about plugging them in. The next thing on my everyday carry, <laughs> it's just the time we live in here in France, things are kind of getting worse and we're about to go into a lockdown and depending on when I upload this video, we might already be in a lockdown, but yes. A mask is mandatory. I like this white Adidas mask, it's from my brother. I don't know why I like the white, I feel like Everyone has black or the blue um, surgical masks. So I was like, you know, this this looks kind of dope and it's kind of contrasty. So yeah, white mask. Another thing, shout out to my boy Federico. He just replied to my story because I, I, I put on my story, I'm gonna be doing vlogs now. And he says, finally, the vlogs are back. So I'm a shout you out. This is his Instagram right here. He is, what is Federico? He's a financial guru. <laughs> <laughs> he just, he's, he's just a smart, fun guy, so you should follow him on Instagram. I want you guys to kind of leave a comment down below what videos you want me to make more of because I have a list now. I found this, oh my God, I need to borrow my phone. I found this app called Notebook, and what this app does is it allows you to create notes. My girlfriend recommended it to me before, but I didn't realize how much I actually needed this, but yeah. This Notebook app is awesome, so I can just put down the YouTube video ideas I have so that I stimulate more YouTube video ideas. So don't look at it too much, and uh, so yeah, if you guys have any YouTube video ideas, let me know down in the comments below, and I'll try to add them to this list and try to get them out. I was watching a YouTube video about how to get more YouTube video ideas, and I saw a strategy was to actually write down any idea you get just to build confidence in your brain to basically reward your brain for coming up with the idea in the first place. I'm trying that out and so far I have five more videos to do. If you guys haven't already, definitely go check out my video on this little smart clock. It's super cool. It's called the Lemetric Time. It allows me to put my YouTube uh, analytics, whether it's subscribers or views or whatever on it and it's pretty aesthetic. Blasting light is always a good strategy when you want a soft, flattering image while trying not to focus the light too much. So I have the light blasting in the wall in front of me so that it lights my face. The next thing on my EDC, obviously, my wallet. This is an MCM wallet, has my basic stuff, my driver's license, credit card, carte vitale, which is a medical card here in France, my student ID, and no cash. I wanna carry more cash, I just, don't. So sorry if you wanted to pick my pocket. Picking pockets has become like really crazy in Paris right now. It just in the past few weeks I've seen pickpockets, attempted phone stealings in the metro, so that's been wild. So yeah, I got this wallet for my birthday I think in 2018 or 19, so thanks fam. And yeah, I just like it. I always keep it. It's very thin and light. I was looking at the Apple MagSafe wallet, but I don't know. It. I, no, I don't think I would put a magnet wallet. Just, I'm gonna forget it. I'm gonna, it's gonna fall off and I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna lose it. A lot of people saying it's a good product and it's not gonna fall off or whatever, but I don't wanna be, I guess, that one person who's not so lucky. Okay, fine, I'll give you another item. This thing right here is amazing. I think I've made a video on it. Not sure, maybe I should. It is basically an SD slash mini SD to USB-C. USB-A, micro USB, and lightning. And this is especially good if you're a photographer or anything and you always like to take your camera with you because sometimes you want to take a picture and then post it directly onto your story. That's something that I do sometimes. I don't like using the Wi-Fi app that transfers the pictures from your phone to your camera, so I just use this, plug it straight into my phone, SD card, and then upload the pictures straight to my gallery, and that is an awesome, cool process. So yeah, you just take it, plug it into the bottom of your phone, looks kind of stupid, put your SD card in, and you can just easily transfer your pictures over. Awesome, awesome little device. Links to everything I'm talking about in this video will be in the description, obviously. I haven't made a video with this guy in a while, so let's put the camera back here. He's been really ready for 2021, and today is just the day I'm gonna say thank you for being the amazing dog that you are. He's always protecting us from the many uh, criminals. Uh, let me give him a moment of my time. Bye. Uh, 
Thank you for stepping over my charger. You know what I'm really excited for? I'm really excited for new camera gear coming out this year. So yeah, the new camera gear is coming out this year seem pretty crazy. There's the Sony A1, which looks awesome on paper, on paper, spec-wise. Um, and the, whatever the new Canon camera coming out is, I'm looking to get a new camera. I said in my other video, I was looking at the Canon 90D, but I'm just gonna wait and see what cameras come out this year. Um, I also wanna look at the ZV-1 as a potential, because I wanna look for a B camera, so that is something I'm really looking forward to. I also wanna get a new light. I wanna get, what's it called, Amaran 100D? Yeah, I think it's the Amaran 100D, and that is basically to kinda replace this thing, or to make this my B light, so to speak, because I don't know if you guys can hear, I need to close my door. Because I don't know if you can hear, but this fan makes a lot of noise. Just because the fans are keeping it cool because this gets really, really hot. These big lights always get really hot. So yeah, that's just something I'm looking into. And if you are on the fence of getting a new computer, definitely consider the M1 MacBook Pros or Macs in general. They're so just amazing. I know the new ones are coming out, so yeah, if you want to wait to get maybe something even more powerful, then wait. But for the money, you can technically, you don't even need the Pro one. You can get the 999 or the $1,000 one, uh, the MacBook Air with 8 gigabytes of RAM and as much storage as you want. And these things are just amazing. The battery life, the performance, the, the ease of use, just so amazing. I, I love it. I love this pro. This is probably my favorite purchase of 2020, for sure. This or my, my camera. For those of you who don't know, I have switched pretty much from using the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus as my primary microphone to the Rode Video Micro. As this thing pretty much sounds exactly the same, but it's smaller and lighter and I don't have to worry about charging it. I will use this, I guess, if I want that more podcast sound um, and I put it close to my mouth, but this one is just so easy to use. I want you guys to tell me what your wallpaper recommendation is. I've always not known what to put as my wallpaper for my phone. I would just usually put one of the more recent pictures I took, like on my A+. Plus. I would always just put like one of the more recent pictures I took. I kind of want something that's more consistent yet satisfying, so let me know in the comments down below what you think I should put as my screensaver. And guys, I'm gonna be starting TikTok again, so definitely go follow my TikTok. It is that, because I don't really remember what it is. I've had the app for a while and I've been wanting to make more TikTok videos just to bring more people to this channel. But I've been kind of struggling on what to create, but I have some ideas, so go follow me on TikTok. Continuing with the EDC, this is something that I don't always carry with me, but it's something that I kind of would like to carry with me, and that is a knife. In Paris, it is illegal to carry a knife around, at least that's what I read. Um, but I've always wanted to carry one. I always use a knife for having a knife always just comes in handy. And I've seen a lot of e other EDC channels or videos have a knife with them. So I, yeah, I want to have a knife with me. This is like a open nail, very old, kind of rusty. But if not this, I always use, I always use a throwing knife when unboxing my videos because I used to throw knives a little bit when I lived in the States. And so yeah, throwing knives, super sharp. But if not, just something cool like this. This is just super minimal and cute and very aesthetic and pleasing to put away. So yeah, a knife would be cool. Now, another thing I always like to have with me if I have the chance is a portable charger. I don't have a small one. I have this really big, this is a 26,800 milliamp hour battery cell and it charges all my things. On my shoot yesterday, it recharged my camera like four times. Instead of my battery lasting like two hours, for like six, seven hours, I was able to use one battery the entire shoot. So this is awesome. I it can charge my camera, it can charge my phone, obviously my AirPods. I just really wish it was a wireless charger as well. I've seen them been put on the market and that's just something that I find really cool, but I really want a wireless portable charger. Now continuing with the EDC, this has been my watch of choice for 2020. This is the Movado. It is a super sleek, classic, minimal looking watch, which I bought for myself back in like 2017 after I worked one of my first summer jobs. Yeah, I know, it took me a while to start doing summer jobs. But what I like about this watch is that it's super minimal. It kind of gives a photographer aesthetic to it. I don't know, it gives me like a lens look. And I just really like how minimal and simple it is. It fits super perfectly on my wrist and it's lightweight and all that good stuff. So yeah, watch of choice right now is the Movado. And another thing, part of my EDC, my glasses. I bet you've kind of gotten used to seeing me with them on. 
These are not real reading or glasses or any magnification glasses. These are blue light glasses for my screen usage since I'm always editing, doing schoolwork, which is now all online, or watching videos or video calling people. So yeah, it's kind of nice to have these. They take the strain off my eyes. So yeah, my glasses are part of my EDC now. I don't have like all the cool matte black this and that, but I do want to organize it. So if you guys have any tips on that, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Let's see, what's your EDC, buddy? Hmm? What's your everyday carry? You carry the drip? Let me see. Oh, he doesn't have his necklace on anymore. He used to carry a, a, a Cuban link. <laughs> Messi's everyday carry consists. Ah! Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for getting this far into the video. Let me know what your EDC is and let me know if you enjoyed this video. My goal for 2021 is 5,000 subscribers. So let's get there together, boys and girls. Even though 90, no, 80, 80 to 90% of you are boys. So thank you guys so much for watching. Chris here. I'm overexposed. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.